Hey, what's up everybody? Just trying to make it through another pollen season and get some stuff done. So about a year and a half ago when I was messing with this C10, I started thinking about how low I wanted to ride, all that kind of stuff. And I looked at a few trucks. So a lot of folks had tire rub when they were running a, a kind of a low static drop, depending on what tire and wheel combination they had going on. I figured, hey, I wonder if I can get rid of that problem. So I started cutting on one of my fenders see if I could raise it up a few inches, give me a little more clearance. Uh, back at that time, somebody told me about slosh tubs and I looked at them and I didn't really like them because they kind of had that boat fender look, you know, just a big plain fender. I stayed away from that and I started going my own route. So a year and a half later, here I am back on this truck. So I looked in the slosh tubs, mini tubs, and I like those. They look a lot more like factory. Slicked out a little bit though. Nice looking stuff. But at this point, I'm so far along, I'm just going to see it on through. take this piece off clean everything up where it's ready to weld and then we'll start working our way around welding we're gonna have to figure out what we need to do over here to make these spots line up it's not a big deal So 
I got it welded up solid on the outside. The inside, I went around and kind of tacked the edge. Went around it with a hammer and dolly, got everything pretty flat. I'll clean it up real good and then seam seal it. I don't think I have to do a whole lot back there. Like I say, I probably, I'll probably just seam seal it. Make sure the top edge looks good. I think that'll be fine. Under here, it looks good. I'll clean that up some more and seam seal. I'll probably, most likely I'll end up putting a, a rock guard or something in here to keep the rocks from making dents in it. I'd like to get rid of all these, this hump, smooth that over. But I like it. All right, we we'll started on this side. This will probably be a two piece side because of the way I cut it. We'll end up trimming all this off. Just leave me a little roll of a lip to weld to. It'll be fine. So this is a pretty jagged cut, meaning, you know, I stepped this thing down for whatever reason when I was cutting it apart. The other side, I went more straight across and then I had to fill the gap up top more. But anyway, no matter how I got there or where I'm at, now I'm gonna make a little panel to fit that. And I'll start with some paper that'll move around and then I'll transition to a stiffer cardboard that's gonna act more like metal. And eventually, I'll fill that damn hole. I'll just get a rough shape of something, then I'll keep refining the shape until it fits like I want it to. I've got it kind of roughed in place. Now I'll pull the whole thing out, trim it up a bit so it'll fit better. I'm gonna start welding some of this up. We'll weld a little bit, hammer and dolly, weld a little bit more, take the screws out, all that good stuff. I gotta take this back off and clean around here. So I'm gonna draw me a line and follow that around. So I just work my way around it. I'll weld it solid on the other side, tack weld on this side. You now you set out on the trip with your wife. A couple hours into the trip, she says, hey, weren't you supposed to turn right there? And you're like, nope, I'm supposed to go this way. It's kind of where I'm at with this. Right or wrong, I'm gonna see it through to the end. Just started the filler work. Did some kitty hair first, now I'm on the filler. We'll see how she turns out. So some of my videos are how-to, some are just what I do. 
It's something to look at, how I did something. And then this one may fall into how not to. Because after, after all that I've done, I don't know that I've gained a whole lot. And I won't know until I get to the point of the tires and wheels. Still a long way to go before I know. I also read that the earlier inner fenders, 73 to 80 maybe, may give you a couple inches more than the late model fenders for the square box. Just go that route, not do all this craziness. But anyway, we'll see how it turns out. Thank you.